Thank you for joining us today, Projecting the Real You. We have a special treat in store for you today, and we know that you're going to be blessed. So we just wanted to open up and say happy, happy Sunday. It's a time to get some fresh food from the Lord, revelation from on high, and that's always, like I said, a treat, and that's always a privilege when we can go into the presence of God and receive and eat what God would have us to eat in this time. We want fresh manna. We don't want anything old. We want something new. We want it fresh. And we just thank God for this new place. We thank God for what he's doing in the earth. Regardless of what's happening around us, we as the sons of God can speak what we want to speak. And it shall be made manifest because God has given us all the power that we need to reign and to rule and to walk in dominion and authority. So we just thank God we're going to exercise in our authority today as the woman of God brings such a powerful word. And like I say, it's a special and a rare treat. She's a wonderful, wonderful dear sister of mine. And she is profound in the word of God. God has anointed her and raised her for such a time as this. And we are privileged. So y'all are getting ready to enjoy what we get to enjoy all the time as being her sister. So I'm just asking you to receive her in love. Receive her. Open your heart to and have an ear to hear what the Spirit of the Lord is saying because truly the Spirit of the Lord will be speaking to this dynamic woman of God. So we're just going to say a beautiful, just a quick prayer. Father, we thank you. We thank you for this wonderful opportunity to come before your people and feed them. Father, to feed our brothers and sisters and give and share with them what you have given us, God. So, Father, I just ask you to use her as you have always used her, Father. I ask you, Father, to just pour forth out of her. And, Father, we thank you for fresh fire. Like I said, fresh manna fresh revelation because in this hour God is illuminating his word so we thank you that God has illuminated a word today for her so without further ado projecting the real you is going to introduce like I said well I would say minister Willa Johnson because she can operate in any facet so I'm just going to give her free reign to let her do what she does best in Jesus name amen praise God Hallelujah. Praise God. Praise God. Let's just continue to give God the praise. Yes. Let's continue to give him the glory. Yes. We know all the glory and the praise belong yes. unto Yahweh. Yes. And we yes. thank God that he is Yahweh, that he is Jehovah. Praise God yes. unto all those that would allow him to be. Uh, we thank God for such a time as this. We do thank God for projecting the real you. Prayer is our weapon. That's 24-7. There's no cutoff time. There's no retirement time. You can pray when you're working. You can pray when you're cleaning. You can pray even when you're fellowshipping with one another because yes, your God. spirit yes. is praying unto God. It should always stay connected unto the Father. Uh, those of you that have joined us on today, we appreciate you. We honor you, and we certainly give God the praise and the glory for you uh, on today. As my sister uh, Sonia uh, had just stated, look, what we want you to do, uh, since we are live, this is Soul Food Sunday. Yeah. Soul Food Sunday. Yeah. This is live every Sunday at 6 p.m. Central Standard Time. We will be here. Meet us here. And also, if you like, uh, would you please click on the like button and also uh, click on the share button. 
Again, we will meet you here every Sunday at 6 p.m. Uh, to just digest the table of the Lord, where he has already spread for us. And we are excited. Yes. And we know God gives us good things to eat. Yes, he Amen. 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 And, 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 and I just want to kind of dive right into the word because the Lord deal with my heart concerning the time that we're in. And it was such a crucial time to where everybody is saying everything like as usual. Uh, ever since the beginning of the foundation of the world, people just say everything, you know. Yes. Uh, our mouth is a ready, it's like a ready pen or ready writer, our tongue is. Yes. So our tongue shapes and frames the worlds that we're in. It shapes and frames our surroundings. Our tongue does. Um, and so we have to be careful in the hour that we're in now to the saints of God, to the people of God, to Israel, to Jacob, yes. we should not be surprised, nor should we be uh, soon shaken by the things that have come up on this earth. Yes. Because the word of the Lord has plainly told us that in the latter times, men's heart are going to fail uh, because of fear, because of the things that are coming up on this earth. Yes. Now, I don't want everybody to run around saying, hey, this is the end time and you just go sit home and then not occupy like Jesus said, occupy until I come. Yes. We got people that are just sitting and they are waiting for Jesus to come through the sky and not occupying. Occupy means to take territory. Oh, it means yeah. to be busy. For the kingdom of God. It means to be gathering the harvest. It means to be helping the poor, the widow, the need, all the orphans. It means all of that. We need people in the law room. We need people in the courtroom. We need doctors. I'm talking about for the kingdom of God. Amen. Now, God dealt with me and he began to share with me on today. And I said, now, Lord, we in trouble. Now, anytime God tells me something and shows me that we are out of order, according to his word, not according to our word, not according to the word that we think, not according to our own counsel. But when God says uh, you are out of order, we're out of order. And that just settles that. The Lord began to deal with me and he told me, he said, have you noticed everybody is talking about the virus in the land? Mm -hmm. All over the world. Everybody just pro proclaiming the virus, televising the virus, talking about the deaths, uh, talking about those that had and have recovered from it, uh, even projecting how many are going to die from it. I mean, speaking death and don't even know it. Pronouncing death and don't even know it. Giving death a number to take people out of this world and don't even know it. Why? Because they're using their mouth. The thing about that is that the news has its rightful place. But when we as a body of Christ start spreading news other than the good news of God and, and spreading other than what God is saying, we're in trouble. And now we have carried out the agenda of the devil because first of all, the Bible tells us that life and death is in the power of our tongue. And he said, now, we, we have the authority to speak life. We have the authority to speak death. We have that authority. That comes from God. If you are saved, sanctified, full of the Holy Ghost, and you have a relationship with God, you have that authority. Now, if you don't have the Holy Ghost with fire, you just got a ghost and no power. So we have a lot of people with a ghost and no power, which is very dangerous, okay? Because authority and power comes from God. Yes. And he told us he's given us all the power over the power yes. of the enemy. Yes. He even told us that if we tread upon serpents and scorpions, that it would no deadly thing is going to even harm us. Well, we have to believe that in this hour. We have to believe in this hour that Psalms 91 is real. No pestilence nor disease shall come down our dwelling. I know we quote that scripture. It sounds real good. And everything about God's word is right and is good and is just. But right now, we at the testing time, y'all, to whether we're going to believe this word or not. Now, the Lord told me that that's not my portion. Now, he told me that. He said, this is not your portion. This is not the body of Christ portion. Oh, yeah, I know some bishops and some pastors and, and some of the people of God have gotten that virus. I've seen you on television. Oh, yeah, I've seen you. Talking about you recovery for it. Thank God for recovery because he is a merciful God. Yes. He's a merciful God. He's a merciful Savior. So right now, the virus in the land shows us that there is a virus in the body of Christ. God told me, he said, the same thing you see in the natural is happening in the spirit. He said, first of all, 
the, the natural realm does not control the spiritual realm. The spiritual realm controls the natural realm, good or bad, right or wrong. You either going to be in the spirit of the devil who is a liar and the father of lies and the author of lies. You either going to be controlled by his spirit realm that he's operating in, which is evil and darkness, chaos. Or are we going to be in control by the spirit of God, which is the spirit of life? and peace and joy and happiness over in the Holy Ghost. Yes. It's just that simple. Now, the virus that has in infected the body of Christ, the Lord said there's a virus in the body of Christ just like it is in the land. And I said, okay, God. He said, what does a virus do? A virus goes through there and dissect out every part of your organ mm -hmm. and it breaks down parts of the organ to where it cuts off like this virus now doing that they call the coronavirus where it starts cutting off the airways. That, then you know airways is what the breath of God breathing into man. The Bible says God breathed into Adam. He became a living soul. So this virus is cut off the breath of God. Now, let me show you what's taking place. The Lord said now, Everybody ain't going to buy it. Not in him. Yes. So we're going to go straight to the word. Come because the correlation between the earth and the body of Christ, I'm not talking about the sinners. He told the sinners to repent. The Bible is written to the saints of God. It is our roadmap. It is what God has instructed us to do from Genesis to Revelation. Now, when you're looking at this Bible, the Bible tells us, God says, let your speech be seasoned with grace so that it would minister grace unto the hero. Now, if we're not ministering grace, we just need to kind of get quiet somewhere and let's go back to the water and let's go back to the fountain and take another dip. Yes. That's what we really need to do because teach we need to get teach. washed mm -hmm. because the Bible says that we can't just bless God and then curse man. And then now we got two. Now we talking like the, the, like the Indians used to say years ago, thank God for my Anglo brothers and sisters. But they used to say white men talk with a forked tongue, meaning out of both sides of your mouth. Mm. Your mouth is blessing one way and cursing another way. Thank God for our Anglo sisters. Look, God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten son. Yes, he wants everybody to be saved. It ain't his will that none should perish. Yes, God. So let's see how the body has been infected with a virus. And we're going to go to Psalms 15. Let's read Psalms 15. Psalms 15 says, Lord, who shall abide in thy tabernacle? Mm -hmm. Who shall dwell in thy holy? So God is cleaning house. Everybody ain't going to abide. He tell you who's not going to abide and who's going to abide. Let's look at verse 4 of Psalms 15. In whose eyes a vile person is contemned, but, the, but he honoreth them that fear the Lord. He that